in wrestling, right? Sprawling right here, I'm jamming on the head. See my right hand's here, look at his balance. It's off, drop the knee, tip. And get your leg away, control him right here on side control. Okay, modified kiss can tell me. What's going on? It's another day in my life. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What's up, John? Nothing. You know, everybody gets Talk mad at me now. Talk to me. They get mad at me because we, we BS too much. Okay, let's get straight to the point. They say no more BS in the, in the beginning. Okay. They're so mad at me at that double leg video. You know why? Why? Because I teased them with what not to do, and then at the beginning of the video, I showed them what not to do, mm -hmm. and they were so mad that they wa I wasted three to four minutes of their life showing them what not to do. Okay. And then they feel like I just didn't give them enough in that video. So they're yeah. mad at me. And right. guess what? I'm going to give them this BS. Okay. And they're pissed off right now, probably. OK, John. OK, very good. Actually, what's up? Oh, yeah. oh no, I thought yeah. I was going to do it. I thought Mikey was going to film. No, no, Mikey's going to be a partner. OK. You okay, really wanted to be in it? No, I didn't know. This I is thought... more BS. OK, sorry. Just... Hey, guys. Go. No BS. Straight to the point. Teach me grappling. Brian Peterson, no BS. Guys, we're going to get straight to the point, and I promise you, the teaser that you already watched was the good stuff. I'm not going to show you what not to do. I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, single leg defense. Check it out. But before that, because I need to BS a little, we're going to show you a drill. He lays on his back. Showing you this drill before, guys. It's very important to understand. My right knee is here on the mat. My left leg is up. Leg near the head is up. Under hook control. Locking my hands, he gets the frame. He gets the underhook, he turns on his side. When he's here, my hands are not on the mat. I am not wizarding, not on the mat. My left hand that was under the head is gonna roll right over to the top, and I'm now, as I resist his underhook, and his, my elbow's here, if he tries to shrimp, see I'm like staying real tight. I pull his head and I drop my knee. I'm not putting my leg like this, I drop my knee. As I do that, I pinch my right elbow. Get your good angles, John. Left hand's gonna drop my elbow to this side. As I drop my hip, I capture the triceps, get underneath, capture the underhook. Guess Katami, judo side control right here. Next, transition up to my knee, go for the head control. He frames, he gets on his side. He gets the underhook. Look what I'm doing, feeding his head, pinching his arm. So if he's taking a single leg, you know, right here, I'm gonna catch that. So I caught it in this area, pinch it, control his triceps, capture the underhook, modify Keskatami. Now he's turning towards me. He's trying to pull his elbow down. I get up on my knee. I'm getting control, I'm smashing with my shoulder. He's framing. Look at, I'm keeping the pressure into his body. So if he tries to move me, I'm moving and I'm angling. Look at my right arm. Look at this elbow. Into the hip right here, controlling. So I'm slowing his process down. If you guys are behind the eight ball right here and your knee is down, he'll bump you and boom, he gets an advantage and he's already coming up. Now you've got a wizard, okay? He's gonna attack a single leg, he's gonna attack your waist. Something, okay? So all of this, we're here. I'm already angling around the head, so if he's bumping me, I'm dropping and rolling right into my drill. Get up on my knees, here. Okay. Man, you're sweaty. Okay, just like that. You guys need to know this drill. Next, single leg defense. Here it is, okay? Especially for jujitsu, but it's good for wrestling too. But especially for jujitsu. Guy takes a single leg, he's inside here. I'm gonna push the head down, and then my other hand, the wizard arm, this is the wizard, it's gonna be pulling up on his waist. Okay, here, as I jam his head, I'm stuffing it, and I'm bringing him down to the mat. He drops the mat because he doesn't wanna let go of your leg. He's a strong guy, okay? Now, we've already shown you on a previous video, drop this knee, what to do when this leg is up. Leg is up. We showed you a technique for this right here. You're gonna to have to go and check that out. If this knee is down, Let's say he's just uh, simple defense right here. I square my hip. See, I bring my uh, weight of my hips over his head. 
I take two of my hands and I block them right up against his legs. Walk around, John, so you can see. Spread your knees a little bit. Good. See? All the way around, John. Here. See, I'm blocking both sides. Move all the way around. Get it, get, get real good details. So we got both of these. He charges forward. See, I'm just like moving. Go ahead, keep going. See, keep trying to get the leg. Just blocking his knees. Not letting him do anything. Wearing him out. But once you guys are sick of doing this, the guy's gonna start making movements. Either one leg or the other's gonna come up. If the outside leg comes up, this one right here, a lot of times he's doing that because he's thinking he's gonna angle over here and hook over your leg and then now he might drive into you and take you down, okay? That's what his thought process is. There are different moves, but that's a general thing. Generally, he's looking to put that up because he's gonna take this leg and step over your leg. So it's important. Right now, this hand that's around the waist is gonna stay here. John, come on over here. I'm gonna bring my right knee over his head and over his arm. I'm blocking his arm, four legs to the table. Block the side of the knee, and now this tight waist, that's here is gonna pull and knock him down for a split second. Once I knock him down, if he chooses to hang on to my leg and he tries to fight his way back, you see how he's here, I'm gonna immediately go into the drill. So as he tries to go that way, I drop my elbow to the side and then now I'm whipping my leg back like this, catching and going into our basic drill, spinning around the head and catching the guy in judo side control. So now we're here. Good. The guy's gonna, now the drill's gonna look like this. He's gonna frame, get on his side, he's gonna get to a single leg. He bumps against single leg. See, I'm pushing his head down. I have my right hand on his, hip, on his waist. His leg is up. See, the outside leg. Not this one, but he's putting this one up. So where is he off balance? He's off balance over here. This leg is not balancing for him. It is right now, like we're in his position. When I start to move his body, he has his right hand, he could put it on the mat. You see, so he doesn't fall. If he does that, now he only has one hand on my leg, maybe I'll sprawl and I'll get away and take his back. But the guy's locked and he will not let go, okay? So now I just ensure that the arm can't post. I block the side of his knee and I'm tipping. Do not fall down. If I tip and then we fall down, a scramble could happen. He'll let go and then he'll come on top of you. That's very dangerous. Okay, don't let him do that. Be smart about it. Tight waist, I block. As I tip, pulse my hand. My butt has not touched the mat. My butt, right here, is still not on the mat. Okay, once I'm here, I'm gonna start getting up, trying to sprawl again. As he's trying to get up, bring my elbow to the side. Now watch this, guys, this is okay, this is good. Sometimes he's gonna be, get up to his knees. It's a little quicker. The position may look a little different. He's still holding my leg. Yeah, tr keep trying to hold. As he's going here, sometimes my leg ends up like this. Okay, this is perfect. It's okay. Notice how I'm sitting on, towards my left butt cheek. This is important to make yourself heavy. You don't want to be like this. If you're like this, he'll lift and then he'll come out the back door and stuff. Yeah, there's all kinds of moves there. We don't have to go into detail. Okay, plus Mike doesn't know that stuff that well. So we're here. Once we're right here, if he tries to lift my leg, See how I'm heavy? It's hard for you to move, huh? Yeah. Okay. Next, I can grab onto this wrist. I can come over this grip and pull and break it. You didn't have to fall down, but I'm glad you did. If the guy falls down, boom, I'm in good position. Kimura or armbar. Okay, don't fall down. Okay, so again, if I hit, catch the move, drop him in here, and he gets it to his knees. Okay, and he's here. I'm slipping this one down to my ankle, and now look what happens. Eventually, I'm gonna start lo loosening this to hit, pop his head out, that's a good thing. Once that happens, I'm looking to come in for the, the uh, seat belt or the gift wrap position, and then eventually this will turn into a crucifix if he holds on. If he releases, that's fine too. Now we're ready to take his back and go for his neck, okay? So there's a lot of scrambling that can happen, but it's gonna be good for us. I'm sprawling, drop the guy, bring him right into Katami, if he stays down. If the guy fights back to his knees, from here, fight your knees, fight, fight, fight. See how I slid down, look. Slid down to the ankle, I'm keeping this position, I'm gonna slide it until his head pops out, go under his neck, start to threaten the choke. There's the crucifix, okay, right there. 
Sometimes he'll keep your leg, keep, yeah, keep it, and then you trap that leg like this, or that arm with your leg. Other times he fears it, he lets it go. No big deal. We're still looking good. Nice, on the back. Try not to let him get up. The ideal position would be, drop right here. Hold on. With all that weight of my elbow from the drill, it's gonna be real difficult for him to build his base. See how my weight is shifted here. He's gonna, if he wants to turtle, he has to let the leg go. And now he has to fight. See, I'm controlling right here. Keep getting up. Now we're into this situation. Boom. See, I control left foot, leg stomp on the ankle. Hook goes in, two hooks, finish. We have a video on that as well. So you guys gotta know this defense, very important. Little tight waist. Um, in wrestling, we call it the, uh, I believe we call it like a Russian tilt, okay? Russians do everything in wrestling, right? Sprawling right here, I'm jamming on the head. See my right hand's here, look at his balance. It's off, drop the knee, tip. And get your leg away, control him right here in side control. Okay, modified kiss can tell me. Get up, get to here, here comes the drill. Frames, okay? I'm trying to spin, but he gets to a single leg, he's faster than me. I'm sprawling, and he's tough. Okay, maybe I block the knees a little bit. Blocking knees, no, no, just, just come forward. Just come forward, go back, yeah, I'm just blocking. I'm just sprawling, simple stuff. And then he starts putting that leg up. Boom, he puts that leg up, I'm like, oh. Okay, drop him down, spin. Okay, last time, we're gonna turn back in me. Get the underhook, we're trying to stall. The guy gets up, yeah, get up, get up. Good, here, drop the hip. Right in the side control, just like that. How you doing, Mike? Easy peasy. All right, let's go guys, let's get up. Nice. Thank you so much, all the respect. All the respect. Just like having fun with him. <laughs> Thank you, John, you did a great job, no BS. Guys, don't take any BS out there. If any one of these YouTubers out there plays around BS's, just let them know in the comment section down below. Tell them about all the BS. I love reading it. Love you guys. Thank you so much, Teach Me Grappling. Hit that link down below at Patreon or PayPal. Contribute to this channel, and I'm going to be contributing to you next time. Thank you so much. Out. Oh.